Hi, I'm James. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to apply a bleach bypass effect to images in Photoshop. And the technique comes from the days of film. And it was basically when processing a transparency film, you would miss the bleach step, hence the name. And that is what would give you the effect. So the effect of a bleach bypass is a slightly desaturated image that's a bit washed out and then texture and detail kind of pops out quite a bit similar in a way to clarity in Adobe Camera Raw and also Lightroom but very different at the same time. So let's go through what we need to do and um, we've got an image open here and to get started go down to the adjustment layer icon which is a half white half black circle and select levels from the list of options and then just go to the white point box over here on the right and we're going to change that to 200 which obviously makes the image much brighter but let's close that down and now we're going to change the blending mode to multiply which is a darken blending mode so there we've kind of pushed the image in two different ways which has given it a really nice contrast boost and also this is part of what's going to make the detail pop out okay so let's go back down to the adjustment layer icon and this time select black and white and we're just gonna go with the default settings here we don't need to do anything special if you want to enhance the way that um, different colors transfer into black and white you can do that you can pull the sliders around um, but I think on this occasion we'll go for what's there and we're gonna change the opacity to 40 there and we're going to go back down to the adjustment layer icon again and select curves and then what we're going to do is just increase the brightness so that the image is as bright as it should be and let's close that down so there is the effect at full strength now this may be to your taste and you may want to stop here and that's completely fine what I'm going to do is group all of these layers just to tidy things up a bit. So I'm going to hold down the shift key, left mouse click on levels one, hold down control and G, and that's going to group those layers. And I'm just going to double click on there and rename it bleach bypass, just so I know what the folder's for. Okay, so there we go. You can kind of see what's happening there. It's taking the kind of haziness out, giving it a massive contrast boost and also desaturating the image. And let's just zoom in a bit and have a look at the details down here on the ground. So there you'll see it just makes texture really kind of pop out. And let's just come back out again. And for me, this is a bit too strong. So what I like to do is usually set it somewhere around 50% and then it's not really overwhelming or anything like that so there you go that's that's looking pretty good so you can apply this to any kind of images really from portraits to landscapes it's just one of those tricks you can pull out of a bag just to give an image that little something extra so that is how to apply a bleach bypass effect in photoshop